I think we did, didn't we? Most of it. Okay. Uh, well, where we guys last left off is you guys uh, escaped certain doom and demise by the uh, enemy fleet. <clears throat> at least you think that's what we're at. Are we still still doing that? You guys still getting chased by those no, guys? No, we landed. We, we escaped them. Okay. You lost a couple crafts. And now you're on your way making preparations to assault the station. More or less. Okay. So the Inquisitor is summoning you aboard a ship. You guys, all of you guys. I refuse. Okay, then. Well, I'm, I'm in the chamber. Yeah. No, I know you can say no. Yeah, yeah. And I he... I head over. And he says, I see you pulled it off. Yep. And, um... He kind of seems jotting down some notes on a data pad. And then he hands it over to you. And then he says, I'm handing over the operation to you. I have somewhere else to be. Alrighty then. He doesn't allude too much of what he, where he has to be, but basically the data pad informs you that, uh, you know, you could you're taking about two or three of his ships and assaulting the installation. He has to take, and then yeah, that's the that's the gist of what you're getting from him. He's like, do you want any information on this station? That you're about to go into. Huh? Everything you can say. Did you say we have to take the station? Not destroy it entirely? That's what he told Moth, yes. Okay. Yeah, he'd prefer the station be taken. Wow. I would have preferred the planet remain intact, but that didn't quite turn out. No, he, he kind of congratulate, congratulates you on that. Um, they've been trying for a very long time to do that. So, a victory felt very good. So, he informs you that the station itself is guarded by four major platforms that so you're going to have to take out for you get even close to the station. Either take one of them out or all of them out in some, some fashion. <clears throat> if you take one out, the fleet's probably going to descend upon you in that location. He's kind of advising you possibly a multi-prone attack to handle the situation. Yeah, I was thinking simultaneously take all platforms out at once. Right. Done it for the station. As he says, obviously their their nanite shields are down. But they still have to deal with Imperial tech that the Space Marines uh, have at their disposal. And he gives you a rundown of what they have. They have void missile batteries. You gotta worry about all that stuff. Um. And he says, and other weapons of the Imperium that they <clears throat> that they're missing from their own rosters up from a hundred years ago that he's long long lost. So they could have like the best tech in the Imperium. So that's what you're walking into. That these guys are exceptionally professional. So expect heavy resistance.
Hmm? What? That was his old headquarters. From a hundred years ago. The rendezvous to that Inquisitor was at that base. And and there was nothing you could have done. I mean, yeah, you could talk to him about it. He'd just tell you, yeah, that was my old headquarters. He had to abandon it. He doesn't he doesn't allude to you guys at all what it was that but it was important to them, but you know, is now a thing of the past now. You've since vaporized it. That was on the planet. The planet doesn't exist anymore. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was going to ask something. I forgot what it was. Um... What were we talking about again? The defense platforms surrounding the, the station itself. <clears throat> And he, and he informs you based on the intel that they have. They've it definitely doubled up on on defenses around key locations, especially that gateway. Of theirs. Oh right, I was gonna say. Hopefully, a lot of their weapons are uh, screwed at the moment. It's one thing I noticed back when we were on the planet was uh, a lot of their technology had nanites incorporated into it. And when the nanites got turned off, it sort of screwed the tech. Just like basic shit. Like, half their guns didn't work. Yep. Oh, he informs and you... Other things like their the ships. Yeah, he informs you that these aliens are highly adaptable, so it's only a matter of time that they're back in operation. Until you deal with that, the enemy mothership. It's a short victory, so this is our only window of opportunity. Already then. Because the shields on, for that station are down. Yep, then we're going, I guess. Yeah. Alright, let me set the scene. Oh, yep, the rest of the fleet leaves. Those three ships leave. Boop. They warp away with the, to where the Inquisitor needs to go. And you're, you're left with the, those three other vessels. They have their moth. Okay. All right, so apparently I found out you guys modified my ship without my permission last time, and I said nope to half of those because they have way too many detriments. So... The uh, blue ship, I believe, has the psychic chamber in it. Yep. And the green or the other ship should have the uh, time gun. No, 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 no. The green ship is the guy, the guys that you killed their their guy with. Uh, the, oh yeah, the... that guy. Apparently yes. There was some five thousand year old mechanicus guy that was just an absolute dick. Yilmug turned off his tech for like a split. Well, no, no, he had a mechanical glitch inside his brain and died immediately. It was so strange and weird. I don't know why these people would entrust their bodies to such delicate machines. But yeah. Uh... Wait. Yeah, I don't think your character would have known what that is. I'm on a separate ship inside that sarcophagus currently, you so... Can take, you can take <laughs> cannon shots. That guy couldn't even take a, an EMP. Nope. Yeah, like... He... Do nukes exist? Why wouldn't there be? Then yes. Hold up. So there's a lot of things. Okay. Well. 
All right. Ferret a cage and you're done. Can you guys well, see after radius? crap is, is I can just see a bunker. Mechanical yeah, see, anyway. Yeah, can you see a radius or no? Radius, radius. of what? Exactly. Uh, uh oh. Setting up the scenario, that's all. Boop. Did you guys hear work? I'm more concerned about the can you see the radius comment. Well, yeah. Can you can you see that yellow? No. Cool. Her. Stations. Space stations. <clears throat> And then the one with, oh man, hold up. I'll just make, I'll just make it bigger. I'll just do that. That, that will just be... make the other one smaller and the main one bigger. Yeah, so this will be bigger. Yeah, let me delete these and then make them smaller. Boop, boop, boop. Cool. So you can't see the those auras. Nice. All right. Making sure, I, you know, weapon, weapon, weapon zones. That's all. Second, I'm setting up their defenses, and then I'll put you guys somewhere, and then we'll put you guys in a turn order. Uh, who wants to command the ships? I get red if we're doing that, I guess. Yeah, but we're, you guys are all you guys are all playing, so you guys would each be able to control individual ships during the turn order. I'd imagine your mug would be in charge of the blue one. I should definitely be in charge of the green one. So you don't like your own fate be, Mr. DeCobler? They may or may not be uh, subject to uh, a mechanical malfunction. Why mechanical malfunction? Just have them ram the platform. Huh. See if I can make this space a little bigger. Give me one second. Yeah, mechanical malfunction, as you said. I don't think it's, so. I mean, it's malfunction of the major sort. Ships look like blades in the front for a reason. It's it's done on purpose all the time. I mean, hell, if you're going to ram something, just ram the main station and blow it up. Kaboom, done. Problem solved. Let's go. Go ahead. Uh, do. Okay, so question is, where do you guys want to start? Because you guys can warp in as close or as far away as you want. You can warp right on top of them if you wanted to. So that's, I'll leave well, that I was, I was thinking multi pronged attack. We warp in on top of them and fuck them up, and then converge on the station. What if I warp in first, right next to the station, kill everything around us, including all the ships, all the defense platforms, and then it's a race of time for you to uh, take the station before their fleet arrives? That sounds good. Yeah, we can do that too. 
By the way, these little circles, those are alien ships. The big Megazord ones that don't combine together? <clears throat> yeah, the Megazord ones that can combine together, but you see that they're adrift. Those are adrift. And then let me get some Imperial ships on the field because there's actually Imperial vessels as well. Sort Dude. of. It's not like we got one that does anything. That's... It's, not like a, it's not like hard stats or anything. Yeah. So we're just rolling in this because like we're not playing ship simulator. So we're just we'll roll. And if you beat the roll, that thing will die. So, <laughs> just simple, right? Uh, I'm going to make mark the enemies with uh, yellow circles. So, and then this boy here is going to be. Do you see those? Do you see that? Yep. Because your guys would have all this intel coming in. So. And your sensors would allude that this, this is here. So this is kind of what the setup you see. That big ship's the... Uh... The one where you were after originally? Yes. Oh. Well, I can just go in and just kill him immediately. And then, boom, we're done. Because <laughs> we don't want that guy to go away. Nope. Yeah, the part of the... Let me go. Let me just remind you the missions. It was to either capture or disable the vessel. Well, it's definitely disabled if it's destroyed. <laughs> I guess if that's, yeah, it's your mission to handle it however you guys want. Um, Mission's changed. It's been 100 years. Yep. Right. Assassinate Lord Malgrin of the Void Blade. Sabotage the Cataclysm, Cataclysm Orb. You guys already did that. Did we? Yes. Yeah, I was on the planet. Oh, well, I guess that works. Yeah, yeah we just skipped a step. Yeah. Uh, so, so since since you guys already d dealt with it and everything, the Space Marines themselves, you guys are asking what they're assaulting. They're assaulting, uh, you know, a co another complex, kind of like you guys did, uh, to get that device. How you, how you guys got artifacts? Well, they found another area for. They were looking for this very thing. Because they were they were more or less done with this system and trying to just they were going to eradicate all planets in the system to be to allow the Cervax to leave but you're about done with this mission so <laughs> boom Second, secondary objective done protect innocent lives you guys sort of uh, did that uh... right there were innocent lives? What? Yeah. Well, no, I only remember his heretics and gunning them down. There's there's civilians, there's plant, but they're dead too, so ah, I'm gonna they're say protected from being corrupted now. They yeah. died pure. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say you didn't really encounter any, so you wouldn't have known of it, but like uh, you didn't get it. <laughs> so, but that's like a tertiary objective. So, same thing with the secure the ship, tertiary, gather intel. So, <clears throat> I think if you're going to straight up one-shot this guy, is that, is that the plan? More or less. Yeah, we just need a plan if we want to uh, take him out now or lure in more of the fleet, but if we wait, that gives him a chance to leave. So, are you going to hurt us? So, I'm the... kind of in the favor I jump in before the fleet, take out all the platforms and all of the, uh, if we the take ships. Out 
If we take out the main control station, they all die anyway. Right, but if the objective is to capture the plat the main thing, then I don't know if I want to leave that for y'all or not. But I could also just go in and just take out everything. The Inquisitor gave you that directive he wants it captured. It's up to you if you want to follow it or not as a, as a character. Yeah, well, I'm not going to fuck over my other players. But yeah, a lot so, of what I so, yeah. I don't know. Do y'all want to actually storm it or just have me go in and nuke the damn place? What's the range on your nuking? Uh, quite far. How far is quite far? Uh, well, it's been reduced, but uh, it's still a lot. What was it, 500 km? Is it 500 km? Yeah, it's now 500 km instead of uh, 1,000 km. Yeah, you can literally, quite literally nuke the place, bro. Yep. Yeah, because, like, yeah, that's the entire map. That's the literally the entire map. That's what. That's why I was kind of divulging to him. I was like, "Wait a minute, he has that nuke thing. He's probably just gonna nuke, nuke, and just end this here." Yep. <laughs> that's, so that's why I'm. That's why I'm asking everybody else. Like, how how badly do you want to follow the Inquisitor's instructions to capture it? Well, my now. character's dead anyway, so you're, you're 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 yeah. That's why I'm talking this way. That's why I even revealed all the meta game stuff because I know what Yelmug was thinking. Is like he's gonna suicide into that and blow himself up. I mean, to be fair, our mission was to to assassinate the dude on. on the ship. Yep, yep, that is our primary and only objective. The rest of this is tertiary. I don't, because if we kill the main station, the fleet dies anyway. Well, the, the fleet doesn't doesn't die. Your intel would say they would lose much needed resources. Like, oh. they'd go to zero. Because they're pulling in tech and other stuff from the station to feed the mm -hmm. Cervax. And, this, and, and he's using the station somehow to leave the system, and the Inquisitor is kind of annoyed with that and been trying to destroy this thing for for forever or capture it now oh right if we destroy the station then the cervex can just leave that might be bad no 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 no. they're being held held down by the inquisitor he's oh. informed you that he's the one causing the warp disruptions and they're not able to leave the system because of his doings Wait, I know. I warp in, I do my thing, and then I burn a fate point to ensure that a black hole is formed. Yeah. That way, I, when the their fleet warps in, they warp into a black hole. Doesn't that like double your range as well? I think it remember said it does. D it doubles everything, or I mean, what does it do to your character normally? I, I don't know. You just said one of the three options was guarantees the black uh, hole. Yeah. Yeah, well, guaranteed, it was, it definitely was that, I, was that I die, or there's a possibility of black hole. Yeah, or or, or just the ship explodes. Uh, no, or, or and nothing, if I, nothing happens, or the ship explodes. Yes, so three, four options. But the nothing happening is the nothing happening part would be the worst outcome because literally nothing would happen. That you would use the chamber, you would you wouldn't die, but nothing would happen. Now you're stuck in yeah. there for two days while your ship gets shot to hell. <laughs> yeah. Don't roll bad. So you run that chance. That's why we burn fate points to ensure it happens. This is this is true. What device? There is no device. 
the cataclysmic orb was the artifact that 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 dude was trying to recover, but you vaporized the planet and he doesn't have it. I'm metagaming mm. a little bit because this is the end of the mission here. I'm letting give, give, give you guys a little more intel. That way you don't think it's going to go on forever. So I think it's start. No, no, no. I know Thank that. Huh? Thank God. Yo, I, I know. You're a Sure. Wow. Right, you'll be on mission 700 by then. No, we'll uh, be on mission that's... 12 by then. Yeah, you're right. We do about two or three missions a year. <sighs> so, all right. You want me to do some rolls, Yelma? If you made your decision then? With your ship? Uh yeah. Can you move your your vessel yourself, right? Uh, hang on, me. You're not in the green. You're in the. Well, we can't move them far enough to be outside of the range of his ability. So let's just assume. Well, we'll he assume in you. On his own. Yes, you warped out by yourself. So you're gonna warp in. And you're warping yeah. where? Where are you warping on? Just straight at the station. Boom! Right there. Okay. Or I should say sub light warping, wherever that is, right? So you know what I'm talking about. Not an actual true warp, but yeah, impulse. So you impulse it straight into there. And a GM roll. You getting there. He accelerates to 0.9% of the speed of light and then hits the brakes immediately. You guys want to fake point one of these? You, you, it rolled a 100. Then yes. I know you can't see it. Yeah, I'm just letting you know. One of the rolls is bad. I'll fake one. I got six. All right. So your ship gets there. And as it's going through that zone, it's going to take some... You're going to get shot at by the lead station there. So, okay, I'm going to roll against you, Yilmug. We're going to do three rolls. You just got to beat mine. I'm sure you don't... Oh, under 50. Yeah, you're going to get... Cause the Void Missile battery is going to be firing at you as, as you're Oops. coming in. I'm assuming he's trying to roll under, not oh, roll under. Roll under. Right, this this is the first one, not the other two. I'll spend a fate point then right. to re-roll the first one. You do not want to be hit by. It. There That's you go. That works. Yeah. Okay. You have made it to your destination. Uh, what is the route you're taking, the by the way? I'm warping straight in. Okay, you're warping in. Yeah, void missile batteries are firing at your. Warping in, as in. I want yeah, to appear impulse. in between them. Sure, yeah. Impulse drive. Because warping is in... You're not able to warp warp. Oh, that's right. We're not. Uh, well, honestly, the moment I get everything within 500 kilometers of me... Yeah. I'm just going to do it. Okay. So I don't really yeah. need to get close. But I do want to get as close as I can. Uh, so that way, when I do trigger the black hole... Okay. Show me where you're going. fucked. Okay, show me where you're going from, I guess, where you guys started. Yoma gets a black hole, depending on its size. Everything in this system is fucked. Everything in the neighboring systems is probably also fucked. Where is your vessel again? I lost sight of it. I don't know. What'd you do with it? By the way, is that black hole like Eye it's of Terror size, red. or is it... No. No, it'll be, it'll be small. There's a green one over here. So you're on that red one. Yeah, I'm the red one. He's the blue one. Is he? Where's the blue one? I don't know. I don't he disappeared on us. Hair. Moved it and it went poof. There's a blue one now. Here. Boom. And then. Oh, we cloned Yelm like this. Oh, never mind. No. So just have a. Yeah, you would have taken. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, so your guy would have taken the void missile batteries. You, your ship avoided getting hit by void missiles coming in. Yep. And then as you get close to the station, are you in that close to the station? I'm getting as close as I can to this guy. But also, like, in between me and the, sta and the station. So... Okay. Beat those! Beat those rolls! It's firing Gun. uh, guns at it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't beat one. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll spend another fate point to reroll that second one. Hey, did it. Okay, so you didn't get your ship didn't get fucked up immediately by the the cannons. All right. Go ahead and did a barrel roll. Yeah. Go ahead and do your. Uh... Your uh, ability, your shark ability. Sweet. And then, then it's the infinite damage. So. If... Oh, I do still have to make a willpower roll. You do. Just to make sure I actually do it. And then I'm going to see if your chamber does what it's supposed to do. So. Uh, it'd be a hundred. It'd be do nothing. I mean, you could fate point it to have fourth ability roll. All right, so I definitely succeed on my roll. Uh, and Does now eight I'm gonna roll... count as doubles? And your fate no, because that's, that's zero eight, not eight eight. You're spending a fate point to guarantee it, right? Yeah. Black hole. Is there anything your character's gonna say to his comrades before he dies? I killed the tech priest. I'm done. He you was all... an ass, and I hated him. <laughs> okay. So... Go ahead and describe your space megalodons as it destroys everything within the 500 kilometer area. So, I want like a little ripple out of a kind of in space underneath each one of them. And then, first, you see just jaws, just like how as the, my powers always happen, it's just a set of jaws come out grab something and pull it down, except this time it's a whole goddamn fucking shark. R pull, uh, pulls into reality, grabs each ship, uh, and then slams back down into the immaterium, ripping them apart as it does so. Um, but it's just hundreds of them. Thousands of them. If it doesn't take out one, it'll take it. Another one will pop up, finishing the job. Just like how a great white just like how a great white will uh, like flip a sea line in the air and then, you know, those are orcas. Orcas do that. But how a great white will, you know, jump out of the ocean, grabbing like a seagull or something. Same, same kind of deal, except for it's doing that. And I'm for and for the uh, the station itself, it's just a, a feeding frenzy. They just pop out and just start going to town on it because it's slightly too large for. One of the Joss things. Yep. Yep, and you just see the station just, like, fall apart as the chunk after chunk after chunk is taken apart. Infantatum. And then as that black hole increases in size as sharks and material and men go into it. In fact... And if I can burn one more fate point, I would like one of them to continue existing forever. Oh, like in the area around? Yeah. So yeah, just, just swimming through the system as the, a mythic void beast sure. hunting warp, uh, warp entities. Just a oh, space megalodon. Like this one. So you're dead. 
you know, your character, and so what? everything in that in that no. area. Yeah. Uh, the surviving team members, what you guys see is a growing black hole. And it oh, seems no. to be getting larger. I was afraid of that. This way you don't fuck with black holes. Mm-hmm. And like that, you see swarms of those sharks coming out of this black hole and then they out of the immaterial, gobbling up everything yes. all directly. Even better, out of the black hole. <laughs> yes. Now that's yes. what you're seeing. You see him coming in and out of the black hole now. You see this sphere just grow and grow and grow and it continues to grow. They're warp entities. These yeah. are warp entities. They, they, so, break, they break the rules. So, you see it growing in size, Moth, like, and it's g gaining on your ships as you're flying away. Good luck. Okay. Drive faster? <laughs> uh, where are you guys going to be heading to? Right. I guess the edge of the system, or a Maybe, maybe the moon with the Inquisitor on it, because we should probably get him off the off the system now, since it's probably going to die. You head to the system. Head to the moon where the Inquisitor's base was. Right, and you definitely see that that black hole is increasing in size and intensity, with with giant sharks now like devouring whole moons. Let's oh see. nope, we're leaving. Fuck that. Like like in swarms, like big packs of tuna swarms just devouring the planet. And and, and moons like <sighs> No, you're 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 at the you're at the moon that where his base would be at. That your guys are witnessing the rest of the system. This is what you're seeing, and it's growing in size. And you see, it's also uh, moving too towards where the you know, black hole is moving. Is. It is moving as though it was alive. Oh, good! You've created a megalodon black hole. You've created a sentient black hole. Yes, that's. that's... I am the black hole. Can I just role play as that from now on? You can. If you want to. I right. achieved peak space, sh uh, space shark. Right. <laughs> Black hole. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, so, your thing's going to grow in size. Uh, since you created an infinite loop there, Yell Mug, your thing's going to grow in infinite size. Oh, we've doomed the universe. Forever. Yeah. Well, no, it, it depends, right? So infinite even at, is infinite. It's either infinite or it isn't. No, 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 no. Even at the speed of light, it, it still take him quite some time to devour the galaxy. Well, it doesn't matter about time if it's infinite in length. Right. So a hundred thousand years, he might devour the entire galaxy. So, but he needs more material. So the system is what it is. So for now, Yelma can choose on the galactic map what system to. Eat next. And he'll grow. Just go for the Eye of Terror next. I don't know, man. Give me a map so I can go after a system. But in the Ooh. meantime, you guys Maybe I'll eat the Tyranids. Right. I'll just well, I'll just take my awesome. black hole out after the Tyranids that are coming, and I'll just make their bow must be my fuel. They can't run from me. Let me, they don't let me just or cars. orbit the galaxy in dark space, eating everything that comes into it. That yeah. is essentially what the space strikes do. <laughs> they just orbit the galaxy or go around the edge of the galaxy, fighting horrors that the Inter Imperium has never seen. Yeah, let me that is their lore. Yeah, there's the map. Uh, well, it did not post. Okay, and then 
Uh, we are on. Let me show where we're at. Oh, that is the tiniest of maps. Yep. It is. It's Gosh, bless it. Thumbnail. That's a thumbnail. Sorry. Where is that freaking map? They used to have the. That takes too long. Might have to, but. I'll probably. That's correct. So I will probably. I think we did that, but our angry space marine left with all that tech. So he had the galactic map. So. Uh, I gotta find another map. Second, give me a second. Let me see. I'm just Google camp. it. Yeah, I'm Googling interactive 40k map. I just went with WH 40k galactic map, and yours came up, and a bunch of other ones. Okay, so this might actually just help the entire campaign in, as a whole. So. You guys are in the segment Temptus. You'd be. Is there a way to zoom in? I wonder. Oh, there is. Okay. Sweet. All right. It is a really good map, then. We'll use this from now on. I wish I could remember the planet we are on, the system we're on. It was at the edge of the galaxy, the lower right corner. Mitor, I believe. Some of that area. Yeah, that's the system. We're just, we'll show you that. <clears throat> Since I don't have that intel no more. So Mitor is the system. How do you spell it? M-I-T-O-R. Location not found. Should be there. It's in uh, 71. Oh, I found it. That's weird how it... Yeah, spelled it right and everything. Okay. Uh, cool. So the next system... Keep in mind, these are just inhabited imperial systems. Yeah. You're the you guys are at the edge of Imperial space. Yeah, but I don't have to go towards an inhabited world. In fact, I mean, if I am a sentient system, I would probably just do the space shark thing and start just circling the outer edges of the galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't have that. Your angry space marine had all that in because I, I, me and him were going back and forth. We fed all the intel. He has that entire map stuff, right? You know, yeah, he's gonna stick around. Like, all right, I include him because he makes some really, really good debriefing stuff. But he's just, he's just too angry. I'm not too worried about it. The, the less information, the less we interact with him, the better. So we'll just, I don't mind retconning where the system is because we honestly don't care that much. We're not going balls deep. Uh, so my tour is the system. So Moth, you are still unable to warp. Your navigator tells you this. So you're going to have to make some decisions here. So you're above the moon with the Inquisitor, so and you don't really know where the Inquisitor's base is at. He has not told you. He gave me coordinates to it. Did he? Oh, he did. Last session, didn't he? Yep. Alright, so you're going to go down there? Yep. Job's done. Okay. Um, You see Imperial Guardsmen behind, you know, gun emplacements and they kind of aiming in your drone. I'm sure you're landing in the general area, right? 
Yeah, we can send radio comms too now. That the they won't respond. We... Yeah, we probably shouldn't actually. They don't. Yeah, they the don't. The fleet respond. still exists. You know what? <laughs> Yo, Mug, you should probably go kill the alien fleet first before you leave the system. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll just slowly gobble up the system and then uh, make my patrol route. I can probably. <laughs> Being a warp entity uh, black hole, I can probably see the uh, the lighthouse that is the Emperor. Oh yeah, if, if know you're to, in the know to just keep my distance. Yep. So you, should, I, I, I behoove you to make a new character still, and you can probably, role play yeah. your, this character as what system you're eating next. <laughs> nice. The DJ character... is just like, what the actual fuck is happening here? Because your character is mega dead. Uh... Oh, yeah. No, no, I'm not. I'm a black hole. He's a megalodon. I'm, I'm a space megalodon spewing black hole. You are. <laughs> the actual character is dead. So, but yeah, oh, you are. Yeah. You are another black oh, hole. God. Maybe yeah, that's God. good role playing. You became one of the black hole there. Boom. Well, he made it. If he makes an infinite loop, you're gonna get infinite results. So he made an infinite loop. Like, okay, and this was what happens. Infiniteness. I wonder if he knows the mic is muted. Dude, okay. Unfortunately, me... late. No, no, no worries. Hey, go ahead, catch, catch dude up on what what just what just transpired. I committed suicide again. <laughs> the whole system, in fact. Wait, what? In fact, possibly the entire galaxy may be my collateral damage. Well, well, if you're infinite, it's the universe. Yeah. You're, you can eat it all. You are now entropy. <laughs> But I can only use one power, and then it's done. Somewhat died. Sentient I, black I, hole. I became now. the black hole. Yes. You went beyond the. You used that thing that goes beyond your safe limits, right? Yeah, I pushed. <laughs> that's that's how you, you guarantee pushed, the black hole. You pushed while in the psych, psychic amplification chamber. Yep. yep. <laughs> so I achieved our objective Bye. and wiped out hopefully an alien race. <laughs> Isn't and, that now, the... uh, and now I'm going to be circling uh, the galaxy as the Space Sharks chapter does anyway, but just as a roving megalodon spewing black hole. Yep, roving maw. Ever growing. Yep. Eventually, I'm just going to find like one tendril of uh, Tyranids and just follow it back to the main source, just killing all the Tyranids, saving the Imperium. That's the entire universe, if I remember correctly. No, no one knows where they're coming from uh, or how many there are. Mm. This is kind of the thing of the Tyranids. 
that I could just follow a tendril and just just keep eating them. <laughs> because these tendrils attach to a larger section, which is attached to an even larger section. Yeah. Eventually you get them all. In like a million years, I'll, I'll kill kill the galaxy. Probably a oh, hundred, yeah. hundred million years. Hundred million. Hundred, hundred, hundred million. So trillions of years. I don't remember his black hole moving at the speed of light or warp. Nope. It's going to be a long time. Yep. No, eventually, no black. Eventually, his event, his event horizon will move at the speed of light. The more he consumes, so that's yeah, only a matter there's of time. Not really much to consume in the void between galaxies, though. So. Remember, though, I am also a warp entity now. Yes. We're gonna just, call yourself. Just go eat the chaos gods. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Slanesh, who? That's a snack. Not in the not other not. form. God, it's the giant black hole shark man. Uh, it's, it's, it is the Kakaradon. Right. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> you land at the, the mountain base there. Uh, Moth, not Hercules. Uh, and so you're met with. Imperial Guardsmen, they're kind of aiming their guns in your, down, your ship's down direction. We would be displaying Imperial signatures. Right, they still aim their guns. Or Inquisitorial, I should say. Sigils, and then, sigils. And then uh, your pilot beckons back uh, again, short range uh, Vox comms All from right. the base. Yes. Well, reporting in. Who's this? Resora? Here to see hey. the Inquisitor? Who? Inquisition. Open the door. Ink what? I don't, I don't understand. Put somebody else on the line. Ah, oh, this is the commander speaking. Who are you? Are you sure? Yes. You don't know what the Inquisition is? I don't know what you're talking about. Is this guy just playing dumb? <laughs> nope, no Inquisitors here. <laughs> no space oh. aliens. There's no Inquisitors here. <laughs> These are these are not the inquisitors you're looking for. Ooh. Uh May you so kindly F off from our landing pad, please. No. Hmm. Who are you looking for again? The Inquisitor. I don't know who that is. What what's the Inquisitor? Look, there's a black hole in this system now. So what are we doing, Moth? Can I fellowship roll to make him open up the door? Sure. You mean a command roll? Yes, that one. I should probably open the correct character sheet. That'd be nice. Almost played the medic. Whoops. Open the door. Inquisition. Okay. One second. Let me get the try to get the guardsman sheet up. Where the hell is it? Okay, command check. So, I wonder if that'd be. So, 
a fellowship check. Okay, so he's gonna... It is. So he is going to listen to you. And, and not, and not in, the, uh, in the Inquisitor, but the Guardsman's going to listen to you. All right, you convinced me. I'm sure you're here... Yeah, I'm sure you're here to see Octavius. Yep. I just had to be sure. My my guards will meet you at the landing pad. Stay right there. You see two Imperial guardsmen dressed in Inquisitor Black. And they're, mo they're modified. They almost look like tech priests. And they say, you're here to speak to me, I hear. That's how they speak to you, Moth. Sure, I suppose. Is that Octavius? Hey, you see Imperial Guardsman, but he speaks with the same voice as Octavius. Right, must be puppets or whatever. Mm-hmm. Job's done. Station's dead, though. And so's most of the system now. Not super massive. It's not super massive. If it was super massive, we'd be dead. Yeah. Um. However, depending on how close... However, depending on... Depending on how close to the black hole we got, we could have been there for weeks or days or years. Hooray, time dilation. Nothing like nothing like that transpired. You got you were you got to where there are you got away, it almost got you. You almost got caught in the black well. And it got and it veered away as if something commanded your way. A.K.A. Yelmuk's character, right? Now Black Hole. He gained sentence. Right. So the Inquisitor says, well, that's unfortunate. What caused this? Oh, that's like a chamber. And the uh, Space Marine in it turned himself into a Black Hole that spews Megalodons. And just consumes... I don't know if that's a better problem or a worse one to have. Most unfortunate events. I'm going to need you. I need your help now. This no, changes right. everything. And he asks, uh, what do you need? To leave the system? Because you're going to have to leave the system now. Probably, yeah. Right. Uh, may want to keep the warp generator up for a little bit longer so it he, can consume the uh, fleet. He asked the, fleet. Well, he asked about. He asked you in general. Have you spotted that that mothership? We cannot shut it down until it's dealt with. It's impossible. The station we were told to attack that had the that was the mothership. He looks at you and it's like, no, that that was. That was a station that brought in their rain, their supplies and other things from outside this six, this system. Right. There's still a mothership that is, you know, centralized hive mind that needs to be dealt with. If it is let loose in the Greater Imperium, that would be extremely unfortunate and hard to stop. Well, we didn't spot it, but it should be dead within the week. That black hole seems to have a mind of its own now. Well, it seems that... to be going after the en our enemies. Right. Well, my fleet is elsewhere uh, gathering artifacts. 
before we leave this system, now that you've completed your task. I'm going to need you to take some artifacts from this installation and then gather intel on the location and whereabouts of that mothership before I'll let you leave. Alrighty. Where are the artifacts? And he tells you, stay here. He basically tells you, do not come into the, the base. Like, period. Not allowed in there. You know, for inquisitorial reasons, he has good reason to. Well, the reason over here is all cyborged. Mm -hmm. And Papa Teary. <laughs> yep, and, and you just see... Help. Yeah, sure. It's the Imperial Guardsman, right? Uh, but anyways, you see... I'm assuming you're going to be slamming down Thunderbolt transport vessels to gather these artifacts. He tells you there's lots. It's going to take you about a day to load them all into your ship. Then, yes. It's like it's an Inquisition vault of artifacts. Yay. It is. Just monstrous amounts of Imperial containers containing artifacts. Uh, I've never seen so much heresy. Right. Precisely, let's let's roll for how many this is. 1d200, and that's going to be how many containers. Oh, uh, why did it? Why is it not rolling? Oh, my God, I'm tired. 1d200, there you go. There you go. You have 135, 131 crates for your vessel now. Oof. So, and then he tells you uh, your mission after you leave the system is to give it to your Inquisitor if he's still alive. Probably not. So you have to find his next in command. No, oh, that would have been me. Damn. God damn it. Time jumps. Do you tell him it would be been you? Well, that was a hundred years ago. Times change. Obviously, somebody else took the role. Okay. So, yeah, you see um, what remains of his forces just loading up your containers. And he says, I bid you well, uh, Throne Agent. Come back to me when you have... Siding on if this ship's destroyed or or what. Uh, and he gives you intel on the last known location that he saw it himself was on that planet you guys are on. You guys exterminated it, but he says those guys could jump systems or who knows. Or planets. So he says there's one other planet remaining in the system. So that's probably where you need to search. Cue Jaws music and a black hole in the background approaching it. I mean, Yelmug's character has no concept of what you guys are doing. Zero. Fair enough. <laughs> what? Let's, let's send Yelmug's black hole a message. Oh, nice. Well, you guys, your characters would not know that he is a black hole. You just know it's a black hole of doom consuming things, and it didn't consume where you guys are at. But you don't know it's your characters won't know anything about Fair being enough. sentient. Yeah. Okay. So I'm assuming you're going to the planet now. Uh, I mean, I would prefer not to, considering all the artifacts we have. But sure. What are you gonna do then? Leave. You have one. Huh? Leave. You're unable to. Can't warp out. Uh, that's why we were here. He asked if we needed to leave, and I said, yeah. Yeah, and he told you. He told you his answer. He cannot allow you to leave until he has confirmation and eyes on that mothership being destroyed. Gotcha. He was very, very uh, clear on that, and he basically told you that he'd rather have the black hole consume this entire system with us in it than allow that ship to leave this system. 
Okay, let's go track down this mothership then. Okay, go ahead, give me some uh, rolls. Of what? Uh, it's 1d100 for your vessel. So you're still making the Ogren yell mug? Yeah. All right, 69, 71, 25. Lower so better, I assume. Mm-hmm. So I you're... roll the first two, then. Yeah. With a bang. Yeah. I'll take those. So your remaining fleet of, what, three ships now? Yep. Uh... They report back that they did find something on that planet's surface. It seems to be that the remnants of that alien fleet is surrounding that mothership on an airfield down below. And it looks like they're building something. The ships don't happen to have an exterminatus weapon, do they? You've used the only one that you guys had access to. Which is Damn. the one you had. You literally had, like I said, Inquisitor would have used them before. But they are long since lost. Do we have that time cannon? You do. It's on board one of the ships you install it on, remember? Yep. Ah, uh, fire the time cannon. Now, did you install it on the ship that Yelma goes in? I think. I can't no, I don't think we did. I think, I think separ we separated them on purpose. Okay. What are you finding the time canning on? Commander, uh, <laughs> Captain asks. What's the target? Yeah, that's the... It's either we can... Mm. I don't think it can affect an entire planet, so... No, it's a... Just the mothership? 1D 100 meters. Yeah, 1D 100 meters. I guess 1D 100 meters in that chunk of the planet directly... On the, where the mothership's the mothership. at? Okay. Yeah. So the mothership itself is about 5 kilometers in diameter. It's a very, very, very large vessel. So, <clears throat> you're going to fire at it? Wait, the ship's 500 kilometers, this thing... Five, five kilometers. Sorry, five kilometers. Five kilometers. The, the weapon can fire 1D100 meters? No, 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 no. It's end point. It's like a laser. So, it's end point is 1D100 uh -huh. radii meters. Of what? Meters. Yeah, 100 meters. meters radius. That's correct. Okay, I guess focus on the largest power signature you can see on that uh, ship. All right. Go ahead, roll. 1D100. Oh, boy. You going to fate point that? Well, I'm assuming the 1D100 was for uh, meters. I don't know. This is the fire of the weapon. And then, then we'll do better. Yes, I'm fate pointing that. Okay. Hey, okay, now do meters. Okay, 62 meters. So, and how long are you going to be sustaining the beam? Mm. How, how many millions of years are you wanting to zap the target? 60? Okay. So you see, you zap that target, the mothership, and it basically disintegrates a hole right through the ship. And now there's a nice 41 meter. 62 meter. 62 meter hole right where you shot a beam through. And then you see a 124 meter hole. Right. And then as soon as you shut the weapon down, you see it just kind of self heal almost instantaneously. That's cheating.
Rapid fire. Okay, so... Um... <laughs> the Inquisitor just asked you to get eyeballs on this thing, so... Yeah, Not no, I got that. I was kidding about the rapid fire. I don't think it can do that. It can. Fire as fast as you want. It's a beam. Oh, we could just move it around then, in that case. Spiral inwards. Sure. Yeah, that ship's gonna be hard. That captain's gonna be hard pressed moving the ship up and down, left and right, because it's like an integrated weapon cannon, <laughs> like your railgun was. You're. You see no visible bridge. You see. It's, it's a robot. It is is a giant disc it's sphere. A nanite thing. robot. Yeah, it's a giant I sphere. Was, I was hoping hitting the largest power signature would do something and kind of shut them your, down for a little bit. Your character doesn't see anything. Or they get they get no discernible signature from this thing. But it just self heals as. That your beam's going through it, and you just see that then ship. We leave. Uh, if it doesn't work, then we just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Head one direction, stealth, turn, go somewhere else. All right. Going back to the Inquisitor to give intel to report back? Yep. What is it, Bersora? Found the ship. Not destroyed. Time That's cannon all. apparently useless on it. That's all I needed. I guess I give him the location. Right. And there's no way to destroy this thing. Oh, they were also building something. That's why I feared. You kind of just see his puppet kind of like stroke stroke his beard. A non-existent beard. No, the guy has a beard. This one has a beard. It's a different looking guy. He has like one. He looks like kind of like Kano. From Mortal Kombat. And he kind of strokes his beard. And he's going to come up with a thought. Let me roll, do a roll here. See if he comes up good. <clears throat> and he kind of looks at you and is like, and you have no way of destroying this thing? Nothing that comes to mind immediately now. No, no, you got, you got, you got them. You didn't use them all. But do you describe that, like how you shot at it and stuff to him as well? Yep. And he kind of looks at you. He's like, you got through the shielding. Yep. If there even was any. He kind of strokes his beard again. He's thinking. He gets nothing. Can I fate point that so he does get something? Sure. I got nothing either. Still, still got nothing. Hmm. Fate point again. Still got nothing. Anyways, Fuck. you you gonna keep going? No, I only got one left. Anyone else want to help? Oh, Yomug's Yo, Yo dead. Yeah. Do you want to role play as one of the guardsmen, Yomug? I'm role playing as the Black Hole. Do you? I mean, this I even have character art. Look at it. Yeah, he does. He does. Now he goes. I. He's like. He's just. I'm. And he's. You just see him kind of like puzzled. I am uncertain of what to do in this situation. Uh, 
you have you're able to get through the shielding. We have nanite weaponry, but we have no means to manufacture any more since the the sole guy basically tells you the the adeptus mechanicus that could possibly create a solution it is long dead. Yeah, it's such a shame Not that, that that he died. I mean, why why trust your flesh to metal? It it rusts. Yeah. It, it clearly gets. You're not here. Functions. You're a black hole. And he goes. I've quit. He, he kind of like. Well, he can do psychic thoughts. Wait, you you hear me telepathically? I finally gained the ability to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you, Damn, that took just... him an hour. Your character has no telepathy, but no, um, no. It's been it's been about a week. Your 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 whole search and endeavor, loading the ship and finding the mothership, took you about a week. So to him, yes, long dead. Like he's not here, current. The gotcha. Stage, speaking that like. But anyways, um, well, they're sentient beings. They're not stupid. Okay, what if we do it in reverse? What if we bait the black holes of the planet? Is your characters actually debating this? Sure, why not? What do sharks like to eat? So, are you going to take your... Flash. Are you going to take your ship near the black hole where it's currently heading towards? No, it's we're still on the planet with the Inquisitor talking to him. I'm just making sure what your thoughts are processing. It was are. an idea. It wasn't for doing this right now. Mm. Damn. I'm just asking. This is brainstorming time. This is not. He is. He's terched. It's like, how do I solve this problem that I was, that's posed to me? Like, we're out of resources and weaponry. Our main guy who could have one shot of them is dead. So. Oh, I can fair, still one-shot him. You could, but you're going to metagame that? It'd be more like a billion shot him, considering it's nanites and they suffer up again. Actually, let's, yeah, you know what, if... yeah, Mike, let's, let's roll for this. So, so your, your black hole was initially going to go towards, towards the sun and devour it. This is the largest target in there. So I'll give you a chance to decide to take the planet just just because for funsies, right? Because you're a giant black hole. Why not? And I'm sentient. So, uh, let's do I willpower have a save. Yes, okay. Sir? Okay. There's what also if... a secondary problem here with him going for the planet. What if you try to communicate with a black hole and see if you can redirect it? Why they don't would know we ever they... try to communicate with a black hole? They don't hole? know it's sentient. They have no idea it's sentient. Yeah. The problem with going for the planet is that's where the Inquisitor is currently at, hunting for artifacts. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, yeah. The only uh, other planet in the fucking system. He's either on this moon somewhere else, or he's on that goddamn planet. Are you asking him if he's where his forces are at? I might as well. And he informs you they're on this. They're on this very moon. Oh, okay then. Yeah, he tells you they're they're getting all the artifacts they can from this this world. He said, "That's a, that's a that's an imperial mining colony world over there. So there's a couple cities, uh, though they have probably since fallen, and worked with the Cervax. So, so they're all heretics. Got it. Roll a five. I go where I want. Oh, I was gonna say minus sixty. I still you, made it. You still made it." <laughs> I still made it. The point three. Let's go. <laughs> I love you did it, Black Hole. So you're gonna one shot him then. Just all right. You're gonna one shot him, and then you're gonna go to the sun. Yeah. So it's gonna take you one d six weeks to get to where he's at. Five weeks. Yep. So in those five weeks, what are your characters doing? 
Because Moth, your character wouldn't just sit in his loins for a month. Um, I train in stealth now. Uh, no, I mean, your character has no concept of what's about to transpire, so... Okay, I'm putting, um... Kobler's mech to use, trying to turn all the nanite grenades into a big nanite bomb. The thing so, that that mechanist said couldn't be done. We're gonna fucking do it. So you and Tesseract's character are gonna work together to for form a bomb, right? I put him to work on it. I'm specifically not going to work on it because I have no demolition skill. All right, Tesseract, go ahead, give me some rolls. Tech use to see if it's feasible, and then uh, minus minus fifty. Three, yeah. Okay, mine is also a plus ten now. So mine is forty. So, that's fine. They're 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 one same character, so it's fine. Uh, so your dreadnought sees that it is feasible to devise with the grenade you have on hand, and that's all you guys have with the entire fleet to devise a bomb to increase its blast yield. Do it. <laughs> so, are you going to have your tech priest do it? Or are you going to have you do it? It's going to be demolition checks with tech use. Oh my god, why is nobody skilled in demolitions in this entire <laughs> group? <laughs> ah! Sure, tech priests, I guess. You give them the schematics, they do it. They are going to attempt to do it. Let me go get the tech priests. Let's see. Same. Let me try to find the damn tech priests where the hell they are. Da, da, da. Tech priests, not skilled in demolition. Guess we're going to have to get the. Uh... Uh, I'll bring you a sheet. Oh, there it is. Tech priest. Oh, yes, the Imperial Guard. They're probably skilled in demolitions, right? Yes. <laughs> I trust my own demolition skill over those fuckheads. Let's see. See, I told you we should have added baby robo hands. They so the tech priests, larger hands. Yeah, the tech priests are going to do it. So, Let's see, demolition check, and I'm going to modify this minus ten. Okay, that's one check. Give me three checks. Two and minus ten. Three. So they succeeded in devising the actual warhead. Right? And now they're about to mount it up. Onto a missile platform. I was thinking more bomb, but they oh only you only have missiles available on hand on your vessel. They don't gotcha. So Okay, that's nice. And then one more. So the first one would destroy 
the, the, the warhead. So you guys want to fate point that one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they're able to devise the single singular warhead. And it's a... They basically they tell you they mount it with a small tactical nuke with a blast yield radius of over five km. No, I'm 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 rolling it for here. So one D. Oh, one kilometer. Fuck. One kilometer. Anyone want to know a fake point roll? You still got one left. Anybody got a fake point? Anybody? Dude, you're playing, right? Your uh, guardsman. Sure. Your guardsman has a fake point. You're, you have one. A single fake point. point. The only a one. Single fake point. His entire life. Yeah. Let's use it. Hey! Oh double my God. The <laughs> Two kilometer blast radius. It's almost good enough. Okay, so. But they tell you, sh should they. Should it be uh, as it was with the shielding, it shall vaporize those nan nanites. Well, hopefully, four kilometers of five-kilometer ship is enough to kill all of them. Two-kilometer radius. Yes. Yeah. It's. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, you're talking about four-kilometer hole. Ship. Yeah, four-kilometer hole in a five-kilometer ship. Yeah. In a five-kilometer ship. We're making a donut here. <laughs> uh, so we where are you... Look. Where are you going to... Because you guys can fire from orbit. Because this, this, the, the thing is, you see... I'm assuming you're going back to where the the thing was at. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your forces report back, and the mothership has moved from the last time you saw it. So you're gonna have to search for it now. So go ahead and give me some rolls for that moth. What are we rolling? Just one d one hundred again? Yeah, and then Yelmug, your black hole. What are you doing on your route to this planet here? In the meantime. What are you? What are you? Okay. Da -da -da. So, with those rolls, Moth, your fleet reports back and echoes um, that they saw signs of the vessel and it moved recently. You're going to spend another. Another three days looking. You spent about a week to do all this, by the way. So you have um, four three weeks remain. Weeks. Three weeks remain. Yeah. And are you roll? Is this the new set of rolls? Yep. So you got one, two, three. So they found the trail of this mothership, and it seems to be definitely moving, like it's avoiding something, they tell you. And then you guys, uh, yeah, you guys are not able to decipher where it's at. So you spend another three days doing that. So go again. You guys completely lost its trail. And you spend the week trying to acquire it, so you now have two weeks. You find it. Nice. Your fleet has acquired it. it. took you about three days into the week to find it, but you find it. <clears throat> and you still see, they report back and echoing to you that they see that this thing seems to be building... Like it's eating up cities and building on top of itself. Odd. 
Yeah, you like just rebuild the shield generator or the see... control facility or whatever for it. You see that? Well, you see that's it's 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 taking entire like imperial colonies or mining facilities and placing it on top of this ship. It's almost like a, oh, a giant dish. My God, it's become Iron Crad. <laughs> Uh, so you're firing the missile at this thing? Mm, yes, with a swarm of other missiles. As decoy missiles? Yep. Uh, so, your fleet... You can look at me. You're just firing a volley of missiles. Go ahead and roll a 1D... 1D100 for all the missile volleys that they can unleash. You have four ships, so four times. Add all those together. Lots. Okay. And then the one missile. So let's see. This is this roll here is gonna be all the point defense that will be against you guys. As those missiles are coming down. Not saying that defeats all your missiles, I'm just saying that's how many point de point defenses they got. <sighs> okay, so let's see. What was your number total? So you got 25. Let me get a calculator out of here. 25 plus 40 plus 65 plus 96. Okay. And then, okay. 7, 8, 5, 7, 5, 2, 2, 6. Okay, so about four chances to get your missile through here. Make sense? Sure. I just needed a number to work off of as we do this. So I'm going to roll some numbers, and I want you to defeat these numbers. So you got to roll under them like, like before. Is that four? One, two, three, four. There you go. Well, two of them got through. Well, this is this is the this is to determine if your missile that has the payload will get to the target. So if one fails, it blew up there. Well, then we lose. I don't, nobody has any fate points left. Think yell mugs black hole does. <laughs> we would need two, and then we would need to get lucky. So probably four. No, the missile would have been destroyed. It would have been destroyed by the, the, the mother ship's point defense. Because I took the number that a point defense that it had and divided it by the... Yeah, okay. And then divided by the number of missiles you fired and then that's how many chances you get. You're, you're, uh, from your character pool... I I I can I I will allow one to be guaranteed, and then the other one, someone will have to burn a fate point this session to re-roll it. So it all hinders on this last roll there, Moth. Do we even have one to spend? The black hole. Are you gonna give it to the group? Your single fate point. Sure. Okay. My last fit point. And you're three. <laughs> you beat us up too. Yeah. So uh, you see it impact that mothership. You just see just a wave, because of wave, nuclear wave, makes a gigantic hole. And that entire ship seems to buckle under the pressure and collapse on the ground. Are you watching it, Moth? 
Yep. Okay. So it is surrounded by a fleet of ships, like the main armada of ships that it had before. And you see them making their way towards the mothership. Oh. And and then you right. Um, and then you see them just go to goo puddles as they're trying to as they're getting closer. Ah, okay. So they're hitting the pulse wave. Gotcha. There. Well, your your characters see that even ships far out are just turning the puddles. And then they're falling out of the sky. Is the rest of the ship turning into puddle too? The the main ship. Yeah. I meant to do a team roll of that. But anyways, you see it was broken up into three parts that you saw when you hit it with that missile. You see one of the parts kind of like slowly form into another vessel. And that's what you Damn. see. But the fleet itself, all that all that surrounds the entire area, you see a giant field of just puddles. How big is this new ship that it formed into? No bigger than your vessel. Fire the time cannon. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll the 1D100 meters. Yeah, it's about... Uh, its size is like... Too yeah. too narrow beam. Too much of a narrow beam. <laughs> it pops a hole through the ship and it falls out of the sky. I guess just continuously fire on it until it's eradicated. You see it slowly self-heal. And let me see how fast it can heal against what you guys are doing. It seems... Even though you're hitting with that beam, it seems to be somewhat self-healing as fast as you're destroying it. Fire my main ship's weapon at it, too. The big glass cannon. Okay, go ahead, roll. What and the, the ca the normal 100? Yeah, and the captain tells you that they're going to shut all systems down, fire this weapon. And there's a chance, however slim, that may destroy the ship. However slim. Wait, why? Uh, <laughs> well, he informs you that the way this weapon's constructed, um, there's been incidents. So proceed with caution when firing this thing. That's all he tells you. It's not, it's not a guarantee it'll happen. Who modified it? Because it wasn't supposed to ever do that. The ship was designed to be able to fire that thing. He tells you, yes. I'm telling you, Moth, as a, as a GM, don't get a 100. Why? Don't like get a 100. I don't have any control of this. I know. Don't get a 100. Roll. There you go. Not a 100. Okay. Blasts and... It seems to have great effect on the vessel. Just blast the smithereens. There is a now smoking crater where that mothership was. I guess since we have the time cannon, may as well poke a hole into the planet down to its core so the nanites slip through it since they're in puddle form. Oh, you're doing the whole... <clears throat> no, see, what what I was thinking is, since the time beam is so small and narrow right now, if we poke like a little hole all the way down into the planet's core... We can just let all the goo, goo just like fall in there and melt. Okay. So um, like a drain. So you order them to do this? No, that's a terrible idea. Okay. I mean, it's going to be eaten by a black hole anyway, right? Yes. The, uh, devouring maw of sharks. So, dude, what's your Space Marine character doing in all this? 
as he's witnessing the events unfolding on the bridge. I don't think I have a character ready. You do. You have a space marine. You're on board the, the bridge as Brassar is giving these orders. Mm. Mm. I will be right back and go grab some coffee. So, good campaign. Um, I think we can probably end it here, though, honestly. Oh. Well, then. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm the, the mission. It's called a wrap. The Eye of Terror wins. Or no, the, no, no. <laughs> the Megalodon Black Hole defeats everybody. Game over. No, no, no. Uh, so. Eric Cleides always wins. So, because I, I assume what's going to transpire is you guys are going to report back. Mothership is destroyed. So, congratulations. You beat the, the Cerevax. Yay. Yeah, fuckers. Hooray, genocide. Yay. So, Moth, you're, I'm sure your character is going to hence turn around and fly back to the Inquisitor and then inform well, him what happened. Well, if he's still alive. He's very much alive and on the planet. Oh, that Inquisitor, then yes. Sorry, yeah. I thought you meant the other Inquisitor outside the system. No, 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 no. The Inquisitor you're supposed to report back to to get out of the system. Yeah, no, no. Definitely that. And he gives you... Stern look, and he says, I need you to take my personnel out of the system as well. I must remain here. I have much to study. He'll be a late night snack. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, inquisitors. Always wanted to kill one. Well, I mean, this... Yeah, Octavius is wanting to study you, the black hole. You've, so he's it's intrigued him. He may want to be careful. <laughs> I, might, <laughs> I might roll an eight or lower again and come after him. Right. You roll a nat one hundred and he. Well, he hasn't black hole. I would assume. I would hope. Writing your consciousness. Yeah, I would hope this in, this uh, mech, uh, our adeptus mechanicus inquisitor wasn't too much of a dick to your character. I'm pretty sure he was very neutral. His approach to you guys. Um, it's just general distaste for inquisitors. I mean. Oh, okay. Uh, five thousand XP. No, that's not. No, how it works. I get my XP. He what? gets his XP for his next character. It, it's a meta progression. Yeah. I've I've never operated. You just lose everything. Your character has to be up to snuff with the rest of the group. So that's how people lose interest, anyways. Oh yeah. Yeah. This not this is a cooperative experience, not a not a competition. Now I'd love. I would honestly <laughs> love. Oh, I'm definitely going to get more kills than anybody else. <laughs> the tier yeah, race, run, maybe. <laughs> Now, I would love to do a competitive campaign at some point. Where you can do that with D&D? Oh. Yes. Yeah, individual Our... XP gains for kills is the thing. Yes. Our uh -huh. Idea. We do a Star Wars Force Unleashed or whatever the hell it was campaign and we're all Sith competing. Ooh. Ooh. Problem doing in Star Wars because if you guys are bored of the 40k module, we can because it's a mission based system, we could do a Star Wars. To be fair, though, Dark Heresy is considerably less powerful than these guys. We would walk in and already be gods. Yep. Well, it's a good thing I got. No, my I, no, I mean seriously. There are, de there are demon princes in Dark Heresy. We're already more powerful than them. Yep, that's why. Uh, that's why I'm thinking we continue. That's why I'm giving you guys options. We can continue doing more missions. No, 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 no. I the dreadnought. Yeah, 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 
Because we could, we the next camp, the next mission, we could just do pure combat. We could do pure combat. we could do like a siege. Yeah. And actually, I can finish my character with the uh, well, bl heavy blasters. Mm. Commissar? No. I'm <laughs> going to recommend you, if you want something simple, don't make a Dark Heresy character because that's going to take days. Yeah. Even the low power Brasora was that when I made her, it took me three days to make her. Wow. Yeah. And okay. now I have three times the XP. So. <laughs> So yeah, the next mission will be like you guys said, a siege mission. It's gonna be the orc that orc planet that you guys had to abandon. We were going back to that. Grok. Now it's just Vardenfell mushrooms everywhere. Oh yeah, that, dude, they took that planet over. Vardenfell so, mushrooms, purple rocks, sorry, yep. red rocks and yeah. black rocks. No purple rocks, you can't see those. Yep. <laughs> it's because remember, if they believe it, it's true. That's what happens. That's how, that's how powerful those assholes are. If feathers make the thing fly faster, by golly, it makes your ship fly faster. The, the tech priests hate dealing with orc tech. It's like, it doesn't make sense. Like, it's a box of, like, bolt, nuts and bolts, and somehow it fucking was killing their guys. Like, what is this? <laughs> what? Screw the screw tighter and the damage goes up tenfold. Wow. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> yep, sounds right. They uh, work off of run uh, a wily coyote and uh, oh god, what's the thing he chases after? Roadrunner. He uses Roadrunner logic. I don't fall when I'm off a cliff. I just keep moving. Therefore, I keep moving forward. Yep. <laughs> if I stop running, then I fall. Yep. <laughs> so long as you can. Yeah, that's the trick. Getting them they ignore most everything said to them. Oh, they hate you even more. Well, they might pause, but then go, no, you're stupid, and then just kill you. You stupid git. Guys don't fly. Well, now I must have put a rocket on it. Oh, you're right. We should put a rocket on it. <laughs> and their currency is teeth. Yep. That yep. they rip out of their own jaws and of everybody else's. Yep. Yeah, I figured I figured that's a good good way to end in the that mission. So I know you became yeah. a black hole. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to become a sentient warp entity. Black hole. You you, you well you become a minor chaos god. You made an infinite loop, so infinite results will happen. So that's the only logical conclusion that would happen. You created a ever-growing black hole. So that's what, that's what happened. And the sharks are the instrument of your destruction. So, yeah. Yeah. 
infinitely sized because hey you guys chose to make it a black hole you guys guaranteed it to be in black hole because i was just gonna make megalodon a pack of megalodons just flying around that area indefinitely and just growing in pack size but then you guys added black hole well now it's a ever-growing black hole with megalodon sharks <laughs> yeah the best outcome Uh, poor. I was hoping you guys would fight Space Marines, but you're like, yeah, fuck it, blow them away. Look, we've we've known for three or four sessions now what I was going to do. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> I knew as soon as you knew what that thing could do, you're going to do something crazy. Yeah. I was it like, works once, but we better make it work good. Right. I knew. <laughs> I knew you would like that device and the the grenades themselves as well. Because like they need answers to these plot armor weapons or these plot armor shit. Yeah, but now that I'm not playing a librarian, you can tone down the bad guys again, so that way we don't have to rely on psychics to insta give something. Insta give something. Well, I mean, my psionics have been broken <laughs> since my character was introduced into this campaign. Oh no, these guys were these guys were not a direct correlation to what your character can do. They they were they were part of the mission from the get from the rip. I was going to throw heavy combat at you guys. Did you not mm. record? Oh, oh! <laughs> it's just a silent video. <laughs> it's all right. Then George is silent. Oof. Ah. It was just like the last episode then. We'll just uh, read up over it and just start commenting on stuff that people are talking about to make it sound like you're talking to us. You need a backup recording for now on, just in case. <laughs> I do have an OBS installed, so I can mess with it, mess around with it. I feel like it. But yeah, yeah. Like if I was building anti yell mug mission, I'd say everything has uh, suppressing to warp stuff. Everything. Blah, 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 blah. Right, right. But I mean, we fought things that has like you know. I had to. A few thousand HP. I I kind of had to in some instances just there we to, go. so you guys could actually fight. <laughs> you guys, you you're right. You were into gaming stuff, so I was like, all right, I'll throw heavier challenges at them. Like, and I thought my stuff was busted and broken, like, not working. I was like, man, is my dice busted? Because, like, I was literally building stats as if, you, as if I was building Space Marines against you with the Chaos Space Marines. And then we end up killing one of the players instantly. I think it was, what, dude? You, you had to get saved by Tesseract? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And sa save uh, Neil Grass ty Tyrant. Yeah, because yeah. I honestly thought my dice was busted. I'm like, man, these guys aren't these guys are not taking any damage whatsoever. Like, I'm literally building these characters as they well, would yeah. be. From of course, the we're not taking damage. We knew if we took damage, we're dead. So right. we're doing everything we possibly can to not take any damage ever. I noticed. <laughs> and then and then he gets blasted by a heavy bolter, and nearly uh, killed, only saved by a fate point and someone jumping in. Yep. In the harm's way. The ultimate sacrifice. But was it really sacrifice? Because I got an awesome new bod and a rockin' new uh, weapon. Yes, so, yes. Yeah. It's a sacrifice. Also, Tyranid. I sacrifice my sanity. You guys can take on a Tyranid. Uh, Bet they've done that. They just end up killing themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> All Look, those fucking new characters are gonna be too stupid to be influenced by the war. <laughs> All right, well, shit. I will see you all of you guys next week. All right. All right. See you later. Later. <laughs>